Carbon monoxide, often referred to as CO, is a gas that you can't smell, can't see, can't taste. It's not even an irritant until it reaches dangerous levels. It's caused by the incomplete combustion of fuel-fired appliances, such as your hot water heater, your furnace, or your gas fireplace, which can release dangerous carbon monoxide fumes into the home. The symptoms of CO poisoning are headaches, nausea, dizziness, drowsiness, possible vomiting, the same symptoms as the common flu. So people sometimes think they have the symptoms of the flu when in fact they may have carbon monoxide poisoning. You wouldn't know it unless you had a detector in your house to detect the gas in your home. The only way to detect this dangerous carbon monoxide in your house, since you can't see, smell, or taste it, is to buy a carbon monoxide detector. And they come in various types. Some have a nice display on the front that show how many parts per million are in the house. Others come with just a, an alarm device to let you know that there is a problem. Carbon monoxide distributes equally throughout the house. Not like smoke. Smoke rises. The carbon monoxide actually equally distributes throughout your house. The best spot to place these is outside your bedroom. So the only way to prevent this dangerous carbon monoxide gas from entering into your home is to have your gas appliances serviced annually. The fire service recommends having a technician come in and service your appliances such as your water heater, your furnace, your gas fireplace, your gas stove if, if you cook with a gas stove, to have them serviced annually to make sure they're functioning properly. When your carbon monoxide detector goes off, it's obvious you have a problem in the house, possible carbon monoxide gas in the house. Don't ignore it. Don't unplug it. Take the battery out. Call 911, especially older adults. A lot of times older adults don't want to bother the fire department. Call the fire department to get them there as soon as possible. When the fire department shows up, they'll come through the front door and they'll get an initial reading at the very front door. If the fire department comes through the front door and they get an initial reading, they're going to immediately leave to pack up and go on air to come back in the house to inspect the entire house. When you have a carbon monoxide detector and you call 911 to get the fire department there, make sure you call 911 from an outside source, outside of the home. As well, keep your windows and doors shut. If you open your windows and doors, you've dissipated the gas and the fire department may not get readings when they show up. And then you have an alarm a week later. So keep your windows and doors shut, call 911 from outside of the home.